So um, today, I will talk about the present growth factor in anti-aging therapy, a modern Japanese strategy for an ancient-oriented treatment. So we have uh, oriental methods for anti-aging field from Japan. So uh, as you as you see, as you can see, uh, we have uh, antioxidant ingredients. So uh, ginkgo, green tea, including catechin and uh, isoflavone, and then placenta extract. So uh, these, these are cosmetological medical grade skincare lines. Placenta extract is very important. So in 1950s, placenta implantation was studied by Dr. Filatov. He is an ophthalmologist in Lucian. So excuse me. Excuse me, uh, we have uh, some trouble in this computer, so because uh, I will start my presentation. So uh, in 1959, in Japan, Dr. Kentaro Hieda developed placenta extract as a medicine and received authorization from the Ministry of Welfare in Japan for the first time. So this is the history of placenta extract. In China, the Qing Dynasty, placenta extract was considered the elixir of life. In Europe, Hippocrates used placental extracts as a medicine, and Cleopatra in Egypt and Marie Antoinette in France utilized placental extract for restoration of youth and beauty. In Japan, placental extract was an ingredient of Kongentan, Chinese medicine, one of the three main secret medicines during the Tokugawa period. So this is a function of the placenta. Placenta functions as alternative organs. So breathing, rank, metabolism, liver, and kidney, pituitary gland, ovary, and spleen. So now amniotic membrane was uh, used for transplantation for dermatology and ophthalmology. And umbilical cord is useful for umbilical cord blood transplantation for leukemia. So placenta is use, use for, useful for hepatic injuries in Japan. So this is the main ingredients of placenta. They have a main growth factors such as hepatocyte growth factor, NGF, EGF, FGF, IGF, CSF, and interleukins, uh, so many uh, cytokines, and amyloidic acid, active peptide, vitamins, minerals, enzymes. So, and then there are also numerous unknown factors. So now uh, I will show you about the clinical efficacy in special, uh, specialty, in Japan, placenta extract was permitted as a medicinal drug from 1959 by the Ministry of Welfare. So now we are very interested in the uh, promote immunological activity, restoration of use, and then this is very popular in the field of complementary and alternative medicine. So this is also show medical, medicinal action. So uh, we are very interested in the field of anti-inflammatory activities, wound healing, regulation of endocrine hormones, and antioxidative activities. This is useful for treatment for wound healing, rheumatoid arthritis, and atopic dermatitis. So they have been, uh, they have uh, so many papers. Uh, this is an uh, anti-inflammatory effect and antioxidant effect of human placenta. So this is 
the isolation fiber nectin type 3 like peptide from human placenta extract used as wound healer. So this is the skin beautification effective of the placenta. Whitening is very important in the skin regeneration. This is actual skin. The old cell is pushed up and then lose the nu nucleus. As a result, they become keratinization and peel off as scarf. This is a pathway from tyrosine to melanin formation. By inhibiting here, tyrosinase activity, melanin formation will be decreased. So uh, we researched about uh, inhibition of tyrosinase activity. This is method. Tyrosinase activity was determined by the dopachrome method with L -tyros tyrosine or L-dopa substrate. So uh, by using the tyrosinase inhibition calculator. So this is the result. Uh, this shows about inhibition of tyrosinase activity. We have nine samples. So, and then uh, this is a tyrosinase inhibition. So you can see about, uh, you can see the data of tyrosinase inhibition. From four to nine samples, uh, almost 1%, 100% tyrosinase inhibition. So four to nine samples were manufactured by Japan Byproduct Company. This is the procedure, so making, uh, separating amniotic membrane from placenta. This is a uh, amniotic membrane, so this is placenta. So uh, in the operating room, I was separating human amniotic membrane from human placenta.